Okay, so this is a rare non-video game video. I don't know. Well, anyway, I don't have a freaking smart fab, but I wanted to show you my joysticks I had. So I actually just took some pictures and on my ancient ass freaking digital camera, and then we just you know got a slideshow here. Um, my picture is blurry as hell, but this right here is my stick. It's a Swanya Sanwa stick, Sanwa Swanya, whatever the hell you pronounce it. I made it out of a um, what's called a project box. If you go on Amazon, you you know type in project box like Bud's project box is what this one was. It was about twenty bucks. It had all kinds of like little screws and things that I could work with, as opposed to having to you know build one completely from scratch just with wood and shit. A lot of the things I needed were already there. Like it already had a lid and a box and things like that. Um, this black thing right here is a grip pad. I'm not too impressed with it, but it does its purpose. Basically, you know, this, the, uh, the B, the A, the, uh, select the start. And um, the little joystick itself makes like a clicking noise. You'll hear that when I'm doing uh, videos if you've never seen it before. But uh, basically, these Sanwa parts are used in um, the high-grade professional tournament joysticks for Street Fighter, things like that, the Mad Cat sticks. All those damn $200 numbers and shit. Um, I did not pay $200 for this. I built it from scratch. Um, you're looking at about $20 something dollars for the joystick, $20 something for that box. The buttons run around $2.70 a piece or something like that. Okay, so let me go to the next picture here. It's a bad, bad picture, but this is the inside of the box, which is basically um, you take a NES controller apart, you take a little PCB. And you solder um, the wires that would go and plug into the um, joystick right into the buttons that you wanted to do them in. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, I, um, I used like a 30 millimeter, 29 millimeter, I think it was called a drywall bit, a drill bit. So when I drilled it in, it was a perfect circle and the buttons just snapped in there. And oh man, it, it worked exactly the way I wanted it to. And so that actually, the drilling the holes into the plastic part was very, very easy with that bit. Right, anyway, back. Um, this was the first solder job I've ever done. It looks like it's the first picture I've ever done. It's so blurry. But you you basically solder the points in there. Then you hot glue that shit down. And um, I'm no master at this. So I couldn't really tell you how to do it. And then um, I've actually put washers and nuts and bolts. And you can barely see them here at the top. That... Um, That'll keep the slack from the black cord. There was just the actual NES cord. It'll take out the slack or whatever. So when you're pulling on your cord from outside the joystick, you're not pulling on the dang PCB pad itself when you could break shit and um, things like that. Okay, so let's see what's on the next picture. Um, I play on a school desk. That's the only way I describe <laughs> school desk. I have to sit actually on the, uh, when I'm using a high profile, a taller joystick like I got right there, I sit on the dang um, a, um, drill bit suitcase. And I keep normally a desk here that, uh, that I can use for my, um, whatever I've got to do for my uh, LR television screen. So if I'm typing in for something on the video or something like that. All right. Uh, I play on the left screen, which is an old just boob tube CRT. It's 32 inch RCA. It's a Thompson brand. It's actually a pretty much a piece of shit, <laughs> really, but it's still in good shape. Um, the uh, geometry messed up on it because it's like a you know probably a 10 year old or more television. It's it's an old television, but uh, I actually went and I looked up all the damn little programming codes and we fixed up the geometry um, basically the geometry being what's on the side of the screen being warped and shit like that so I get a very good picture overall for such an old ass television and that allows me to play with no input lag at all on the right side is my um, it's just my regular actually watching TV TV but this time I've got a computer, which I've got down there at the bottom. It's a little bitty, um, I call it QB. It's a little computer that, um, it's pr pretty much like a home theater computer. So you can watch the um, freaking animes or if you downloaded some damn illegal, I mean, um, legitimate videos from Pirate Bay, whatever it is. Just pop that shit right up there on that TV. Um, 
that damn thing is awesome, and I would highly recommend it if you don't have a home theater PC of some sort to uh, eventually get one because it's just <laughs> it does everything. And this one's even fairly portable. It's just got like three cables in there, and you pop them sucker cables out, take it wherever you need to. Um, so over here on my left, you got the Super Nintendo, the N64, a GameCube, just basically all my. There's an Xbox OG down here at the bottom. All of my old standard definition things are hooked up to this television right here okay so what was on my next picture oh yeah that's right there that's brian that's the guy i freaking yell at all the time in my videos because brian messes with your shit i mean he looks innocent right well actually brian you don't actually look very innocent in that picture look you look like you're guilty you're real guilty of something what did you do i've got one more picture Oh, yeah, Brian, you took a big shit on my bathroom floor. I'm coming out to get you. We're going to put you in detention, Brian. That's all for this video.